G'day. So I used to use USB-C cables, just like this, to charge all my phones and USB-C devices. And then one day what happened was I grabbed my phone, pulled it without realizing that it was actually plugged in and it bent the cable and it also damaged my USB-C port. So then I had to use the wireless charging on it, which is not great because the phone heats up a lot and then damages the battery and degrades it. So it's not a good thing. So when you are charging USB-C or really any other devices, you do want to be careful not to damage this. But I've got a way better way for you to do this. And ever since that incident, I have used this. This really has changed the way I charge all of my devices. So I'm just going to bring a few devices out and show you what I'm talking about. So everything here from laptops to radios to this charger, so a battery charger, and then power bank, I use this, this tiny little device, it's only a few dollars on Amazon. I have maybe probably 15 or 20 of these. I use it on all of my USB-C devices, including in the car, all of my chargers, on my workstation dock as well. So you can actually dock your laptop through this and it runs to, through the USB-C into a dock and then it runs multiple screens. So two screens off of that as well and all my USB devices. So what this is, is just a magnetic USB-C adapter. So this one here specifically is a right angle one, so you can see USB-C cable comes in there, and then this end here actually plugs into your device. But where the magic is, if you then push on this, it simply pops out because it's magnetic, and then it separates. So that's how you protect your actual USB-C device. Now, what I've done here, so for example, look at this, you can see one side just goes into the actual USB-C port, of your device and then the other side goes onto a cable so this one here is a straight one and again this one here is a right angle one so just a little bit of difference there depends on what you prefer so then what you do is you simply just chuck it on and you can see instantly the device gets power and this also has a little light on the side just so it indicates that it does actually have power going to it so as you can see i can use that on my battery charger I can use it on my radio, so charging the battery instantly. There you go. You can see it's just so easy to click it on. You just roughly put it there and it snaps in place and charges it. And then likewise, you've got these right angle ones as well. So sometimes the light is only on when there's actually power going to the device. So for example, this is the tablet. Uh, let's chuck that on. There you, go. you can see the light instantly lights up and this turns on and it shows you. So you can see this is actually fast charging there. Now, the good thing about these is if you get the right ones, make sure you get the ones that have 24 pins. So you can see inside that it's got all of the pins of the USB-C. Now, what that'll mean is you can actually run the whole USB-C protocol through this. So for example, up above, I've got my camera and it's got a USB-C port. And through that, I actually use it to run it to an external monitor. So that's working at... 1080p resolution, but some of these things can go up to 4K as well on a single screen. So check the specs of it. The ones I've linked down below in the description will run 4K. So again, what I've said with my laptop, for example, I've got a laptop here and you can see I just have that single one in the USB-C port and I can just click that on, instantly turns on. You can see, you can see that that is charging. But then what I do is, like I said, I have a dock. So I literally just chuck this laptop into the dock. It plugs in and then everything is plugged in. So I don't have to re-plug my screens in and my mouse and keyboard and all that sort of stuff each time I actually plug my laptop in. So the really handy thing there with the laptop is if you have multiple docking stations or, for example, you take it to work and, from, and then work from home, you can then just kind of plug it in and out and that's it. Uh, that's just another example. So you can obviously see that works super well, unplug it, that's it. Now, by far, the most important feature of this for me personally is to reduce the wear and tear on these devices. So chargers and things like this probably aren't so significant because I use this once every couple of weeks just to charge my batteries. That's fine, same as my power bank. But well, what I actually do with the power bank, it's got that one USB-C there. So I actually have a right angle going into it and then I have one of these right angles here as well. So I can then just chuck that onto my tablet. But the biggest use for this, as I said, is for tablets and for USB-C phones for me, because those devices do get used daily or even multiple times a day with charging. And I really don't want to wear them out because plugging it in constantly in and out, in and out, this is just going to wear out your USB-C port on your devices. And that can be really expensive to fix. If it can even be fixed, you might just have to get a brand new device. Whereas this way, what you do is, again, you simply insert that. So I'll just show you that actually, for example, is Obviously, you've got your USB-C port just there. Let's get it focused. There we go. You get just USB-C port. And then this little device, you just plug it straight in. 
you hear the little click and it stays in. These things stays in really solid. I've actually never had an issue with this falling out or being pulled out because it does stay in there pretty well. The only thing is you can see it does protrude out a little bit. So sometimes that might be a little bit annoying. For example, with this radio, it doesn't stand as nicely. So without that, you can stand it down and it will stand no problem on the side. But if you do put this in, it obviously makes that less balanced. So it won't stand on every surface. So it's not perfect for every single application because of that little bump there. It might get annoying for some things. But again, on my phone, I've just gotten used to it and things like the tablet here. So again, you can see that's charging there. So for that tablet, there's absolutely no issue in having that. Now, the other really good thing about this is it is interchangeable. So as you saw, like I've got multiple different devices, multiple different things. You can just plug and play on any device and it will work fine. So where this comes in really handy is on my desk. I've got just one, one of these main, main chargers. So it is a PD charger, so it will communicate to all of these different devices and provide the appropriate voltage that's required. So that works through this charger as well, or through this adapter as well. Um, and then you can, again, just interchange them really easily. So that comes in handy if you do use a lot of devices. Again, I also do use this for my dock. I use it for the camera up the top, so it does work on video protocol as well. And I do use this in my car as well. So it's got an AOX jack in there, so it will work with sound as well. So. I cannot recommend these enough. This is just a few of them that I have here um, on these different devices. I have a whole bunch more of these plugged into all my charges and car and other devices, but these are just the ones um, I brought up here just to show you. Highly recommend these, these are fantastic. Again, they're only a few dollars. And like I said, I probably have 15, 20 of these just scattered around the house and, and a few spare ones. So I'll put links down below to these ones that I use the most. I tend to use the right angle the most. It just kind of fits in well and it doesn't get pulled out so easily. So sometimes this, if you do lift it up, it will obviously pivot on that magnet and it can disconnect by itself a little bit easier. Whereas these ones here are just a little bit more sturdier the way they hold that. And what I also like is if I am using, for example, my phone, I can plug that in and it doesn't bug me down the bottom. So I can actually then still use my phone and that just hangs that way. Whereas this way, it's not the end of the world, but it just is a little bit more inconvenient sometimes. But in my car, obviously that goes straight up to my phone on a docket. So that's where I use these straight ones. So if you are getting, getting these, just grab a few of them. You're gonna find uses for them. Grab a few straight and a few 90 degree ones. And they do also make these swivel ones. So I don't actually have it, I haven't used it. So let me know down below if you have used the swivel ones, if they are good. But what you can do is you can get ones that are basically straight and then they have this little swivel. So they, they can swivel from kind of 90 degrees this way all the way over to 90 degrees that way. So they've got that 180 degree arc. All right, that's it. Again, I'll put links down below. Make sure you check them out if you are interested. And if you do buy any of these, just use those links down below. They do support the channel, which is very much appreciated. Again, if you like this, um, subscribe, hit that like button, turn on notification bell, all that good YouTube stuff. Thanks very much. Hope you got something out of this. And again, highly recommend these. Have a good one.